Um, alright. So, the uh, last passing question then was just troubleshooting my Delaheater passing system, which I kind of learned from you. Okay. So, just like, I don't really know what's going wrong, I'm just not cleanly cutting through the Delaheva, for example, on like the knee cut. Which again, may just be a thing where you're saying, like, like what you're saying, which is that like, it's okay, like as long as you're executing the move correctly, not giving anything, if they like stop it, I'm still wearing them down and staying yeah. ahead and I attack the other yeah. side. But it's sort of like, um, I feel like I should be getting, I should be passing more frequently from Delaheva, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm finding it difficult to, yeah, get either the smash pass or the knee cut. I know I need to add the quarterback pass as well in there yeah. into the mix. That's probably that's probably it. The, quarter, the quarterback that pass is the, slap, the little slap through. Yeah, that one is gonna like is gonna see. open up the other yeah. two options but, more. But also, um, do you, do you need to mean we can fix it up a little? Yep. Next Definitely. minute, I do it fucking perfectly. Bro, I remember when I drilled this like the first time towards me. He was like, "Bro, you're doing this better than me." <laughs> he actually said that. Let's see if he the v -cup. maintains that <laughs> stance. I'm just being in a good mood. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My V-cut looks pretty red hot. Uh, let's spin around. <clears throat> okay, so, over here. Uh, where are you getting it from? Like, hand grip, uh, they go in here, like, what's, what's the deal? Um, usually I don't like to, I kind of go pan grip or ankle. I'll go yeah, for yeah, it, yeah, either. Just go for it, yeah. Yeah, I'll just try to send it as long as I feel like my knee can move. Yeah. If they're doing anything, like if they underhook Delaheva me or some shit, yeah, then I won't go yeah. for it because I feel like my knee is trapped and I would hurt myself. Yeah. So like I go here and I kind of just try to attack the smash pass, right? And they open and that's when I try to send it. The first thing I've noticed is that your butt is a little high. Okay. Just pop that a little more. Yep. Yeah. You don't necessarily need to come in here either. You can just like, I used to actually stand really wide over here. Like this, this is a good move, but this is just like. Yeah, I usually go here, but so you don't like that? Sometimes I don't like, I just don't do it. It's, it's right. like, so you don't find it hard to get the smash pass option without bringing your knee I, I actually never really smash pass anymore. Oh. I only really smash pass, they like go of this and then they kind of give it to me. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise I'm going to do the shin cut outwards. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so basically I start to try and push here. This is like my usual yeah. positioning. And then they flare open. And that's what I'm looking for, but it's not happening. Okay, let's, let's go into the fundamentals of it, okay? So, over here. Okay, so I noticed that your butt was like, you're, you're like kind of, you're trying to like sit like this, you're trying to like stand tall, okay? It's mm -hmm. okay to like fold over in this one. Okay. Okay, it's okay to like, it's okay to be like folded at 90 degrees. You're kind of just like here, you know? Mm -hmm. This is like, you're a little too high with your torso and they can bump you a little, mm -hmm. okay? Because what happens, especially in our rounds, mm -hmm. okay, you, I, I've got the collar, mm -hmm. okay? You're gonna come over here, you're gonna try and bump, but your chest is too high and you push me this way. Okay, so it's okay to have your chest a little lower. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can have this over here. What else? So you're over here. I think I think if you got this, so over here, if I'm new in this position and I'm turning the knee inwards, I'm just coming out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out here and just try and pull fighter, maybe run around the head and force a stack. So, okay, but uh, but let's say let's say they they're opening up their knee a lot, so you're not gonna force that knee though. Okay. You can go for it, sometimes it's right to go for it. So get your grips, get your grips. Well, I'd say just fold your chest over a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's a, I think that's a good idea for you. Mm -hmm. Don't try and like, like have your chest up or like, mm -hmm. have I like- I can give the posture. Yeah, it's not necessarily giving the posture, like pulling you down into the pass. Yeah, right. Yeah, so over here. So you're gonna open up this knee. Okay, you're gonna lift up a little bit just to open it up. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna, and you're gonna push this one down. Yeah. Okay, so you're only gonna go for this pass and they've already opened up their knee. Yeah. And then you're just gonna push it down. Yeah. And punching over here. One thing I noticed is that this shin is cutting a little too much down. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you're just being kind of being wary of like private parts, but uh, but uh, you, you just wanna cut across the hip over mm -hmm. here. So you're gonna pass over here. You're gonna cut across. I think you're doing everything else pretty well. Um, I'll just say you've got your, your body is kind of moving like too much as one unit, you're not really isolating your body parts. Like, oh, nice. You're like kind of just like over here in this really awkward angle. Yeah. Okay, and I think you can also injure yourself if you're rolling someone that's like kind of spazzy. Yeah, right. Okay, so you're trying, like, what you're doing, you're just turning your body this way, but like, your body isn't like on one plane, right? You're just yeah. kind of like, you're all over the Yeah. So my, my upper body should be turning more towards that lower body. 
your, upper, your, your whole body is turning in that direction where you kind of just like, your limbs are staying rigid. Right. Okay? You kind of want your, your joints to turn a bit. Okay. okay? So it's like, over here, this is what, yeah, this is currently what you're doing. So you're kind of, like if I, if I bar the other stuff, in terms of like finishing the cut, you're like, yeah. you're like, it's very frozen. You're right. Like, you're not like able to move there. Okay? Right, right. You kind of, you want to like be able to like turn your body freely a little yeah. bit, okay? So like, you see I'm on the balls of my feet, like my knees and everything are loose and I'm mm. kind of like, I don't know, it's not like, I'm not like, I'm not like squeezing as hard as I can when I do this. It's kind of just like more of a flow pass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And another thing to mention that I think will be handy for you. When you're doing this pass, you've got to vision, there's like, there's like two main reactions there. Mm. Okay, there's like a knee shield and there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a bump and there's like, and there's a, what do you call it, a throw over, what do you call it, high leg. Mm. Okay. Uh, if, they're, if they're doing the bump, then you're mostly going to be doing the quarterback. Mm. Okay. If they're doing the knee shield, it's okay to let the knee shield in. You've got knee shield passing, the knee shield passing. Mm -hmm. But the two main ones, I feel like you're going to block are the, high, uh, are the high leg and the knee shield. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing this pass and when you're drilling it and when you're training it, you've got to visualize them bringing in the knee shield mm -hmm. and you've got to do your pass kind of like adjusting to them. Right. Okay. okay. So over here, I'm going to do my knee shield with, with, uh, with the high leg and the knee shield in mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like I might I may adjust my finish a little bit. So over here I'm not gonna like be cut too far out this way. I know the guy's gonna bring in the knee shield. Yeah. Okay? So over here, so if I know the guy's gonna bring in the knee shield, close I'm, gonna your like, elbow. I'm gonna like slide up a little bit. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, and if I know the guy's gonna like highlight a little bit, I'm gonna kinda of, you gotta you gotta kind of it's hard for me to articulate the exact angles, mm -hmm. but you gotta visualize what they're doing and have it in your and be ready in your mind to stop it. You gotta kind of like feel the jiu-jitsu a little bit mm. that way. It sounds like a, like a, like a t-shirt, but like... No, I get it. It's about yeah. anticipation. So, over here. So, over here, like if you try to high leg over, it's not really... It's not there. Really yeah. Okay. So I kind of get my head in the spot, and then I can just kind of finish the pass. Yeah. That's something that's always helped me a lot on my knee cut. Mm. Um, yeah, give that a shot. Mm. Try like doing it with the visualization. Yeah, of yeah. just preempting the knee shield or the high leg. Yeah. And you're still pressuring in this way to set it up? Yeah, a little bit. I kind of just do it when they give it to me. At this stage, I don't really force it. Okay. If they're not giving it to me, I'm not going to force it. Yeah. Okay. But it is, I feel like it's one of those passes that you can just, like, I, I see this kind of like a little bit like a barambola, like you hit one out to do a feeler, and then the next one is like the one that you're going to finish. Yeah. Yeah, so this, so this, uh, yes, yeah, so you're going to fold your torso over a little bit, yeah. and now you're going to shoot it. Yeah, nice. So you see how there wasn't really anything there? No. Yeah. Yeah, it was much tighter. Nice. Try and shoot your knee to the mat a little more. Okay. Yeah, not, but now you're retreating to the same mistake you're doing earlier. Your, your shin is going too low on my thigh. Okay. So high across here and knee to the mat. Yeah, see, so yeah, see so coming across here. What's happening is that your shin is going like down there. For some mm. reason. Yeah. In the cut or when I'm finishing? Both. Okay. Right here. Yeah, that was a lot better. It felt nice. like sharper. Yeah. Yeah. And at this stage, just like practice. Yeah. So do it one more shot. Yeah. That's a little better. So that's a big level up on your knee cut right there. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Nice.